Hello everyone, David LeBlanc back for day one of our meet. I say day one because yesterday was the welcome day and uh, just an introduction and orientation. Day zero, I guess you would say. Uh, of course, you can go at your own speed. You don't have to follow the, the days as I've set them out for you. Um, I'm logged in right now. Let me pop up here as Queen Victoria. Um, so I can show you again from a student's perspective some of the things I've been doing. Okay, the very first thing is I've created a new discussion forum called General Moodle Related Discussions. And this is anything you want to talk about Moodle. I realized help wanted, you don't necessarily want help when you want to talk about Moodle. You just want to discuss the features and things you like or uh, what you find a little bit confusing, whatever you want to talk about as far as Moodle and also with um, with online course development, perhaps, or blended learning, um, any of those discussions related to uh, supporting your students online, uh, or specifically with Moodle, if you like. Um, this vote will end today, uh, th at, um, this evening, actually, at 5.30 p.m., and then I'm going to close it off. But if you haven't voted yet, you click the link here. I'm going to try and make this, again, a short presentation. I'm rather long-winded. Uh, so right now, I'm going to say which one of these discussions or, or uh, tutorials I want presented tomorrow morning, or if you're on the other side of the world, tomorrow evening. Um, so uh, I'm just going to pick one at random. Uh, I can delete Queen Victoria's vote since, since it doesn't count. So I'm just going to say um, Moodle Gradebook, for instance, and I'm going to save my choice. And once I save my choice, I can see how it ranks with everyone else. Oh, I guess I can't. I guess I'll have to show you that. I'll show you when I log in as myself. I thought it would, maybe I'll change the um, settings so that you can see how everyone else voted. Let me try that again. Oh, no, it says my choice was saved. So I'm gonna have to change the settings for that so you can see how people are voting. That I don't want it to be a mystery. Okay, so I'm going to go back and use my breadcrumb trail. I could use my navigation. I'm going to use my breadcrumb trail just to go back. And here I'm back. So you want to do that before 5.30 tonight. And now I still have all the, the uh, course topics in collapsed format. And I did that just to show you what, how it would appear and um, you can see what's in it by it's kind of grayed out but you can see what's in it you can see your progress things that you have checked off or need to check off so this has got zero that's got one um, this is Queen Victoria remember um, as of tomorrow uh, I, I'm going to open this all up so that you can see everything I think it's just easier to keep track of things like that but I wanted to show you what that looked like as well as um, the um, how, how to move in a collapsed format. If you have a huge course, much better on the eyes. The students will learn very quickly how this works. Um, so that will happen tomorrow. So I'm going to go back into getting started with Moodle. Day one today. And hopefully you can watch uh, Martin Dugiama speak about the background and philosophy of, uh, of Moodle. And these books are very useful. I'm sure many of you have been looking at them so far. Um, you might want to answer this choice about what kind of experience you have with Moodle. This reflect on your learning. It is a blog right here. And it's encouraging you to blog about it. You might have your own external blog, but this one, if you post it, make it public, everybody can see your your thoughts at the site. It's a good way to short, share your own um, reflection on your learning. Um, I would take this survey. It just takes a few moments to do that survey. And this test, by the way, I made the test up last night. I finished it at about, I think, 1.30 in the morning. It's hard to make a, a, less, a, a this is a closed test, remember, so I have to fill in the blanks and uh, decide what I'm going to put there. And it is very hard to do a closed test, um, closed embedded test like that. When, when you don't have a set piece of text to go from, a, a transcript or something. So as hard as this one's going to be for you to um, write, it's really a lot harder for me to come up with the questions. 
tomorrow's quest uh, test that will open up tomorrow, I think I'm going to use the documentation, but more on that later, the documentation on Moodle Docs so that you've got a reference right there that you can read. Um, and please do give us some feedback today on the day one um, and how it went for you. And I also want you to encourage you to jump ahead a little bit. I'm up already by, at five minutes. I don't want to go too long here. So with my jump to menu, I want to encourage you to look at the getting involved because there's some things you don't have to wait for that day to start. And some of them I would like you to start ahead of time if you've got the chance. Um, obviously, the, the glossary, if you could start uh, adding your own terms or defining things for people, it would make it very helpful. Uh, especially if you're using acronyms that are uh, just to your region, not everyone's going to know what they what they are. So if you can start defining terms, any term you like, um, it's just to really try it out. You need to make at least one entry in the glossary that's linked um, for that checkbox to appear. Wiki, you might want to have a look at that. Uh, and the quiz for day two, obviously that won't open up until tomorrow. And do the, uh, this, this, you can leave this one until tomorrow as well. So mostly make sure that you look at the glossary, maybe try to make a glossary entry. Um, and you can do any of them if you want to ahead of time. And another one maybe to get started early with is day three. And you might want to start with an, a database entry and um, with an entry in the workshop. The faster that you can get those going, the better for everyone. Um, because then people can get their evaluations back and everything um, on the Wednesday, the end of this workshop. I just want to show you how to make a database entry. Now you don't have to do these today, but I'm just encouraging you. So, so far there's no database entries. So let's see how to do that. So you're going to add an entry. And I'm actually a little bit prepared. I looked ahead to see what I was going to add. So what I'm going to add, I went to allrecipes.com. I'll bring that page up. And I like this, uh, oh, sorry, allrecipes.ca. I like this kale, quinoa, and avocado salad. So I'm just going to go and copy the title from that. I won't include the with lemon vinaigrette, um, lemon Dijon vinaigrette. Actually, I've made this recipe. It's excellent. I'm going to copy that. Go to the database, that's going to be my title. And um, a description, I'm sure there's a good description there. Let me bring that up again. Here we go, brilliant description. It's from Stephanie, thank you Stephanie, whoever you are. If you're saying that's plagiarism, it's not. I'll show you what I'm gonna do in a moment. So I'm gonna paste that in here looks good to me good description I think I'll get rid of the quotes don't like the quotes and I've got to add a picture well I've already downloaded the picture uh, it's in my downloads and let me pull that across up to eight minutes I'm gonna keep these under ten minutes usually and what kind of dish is this I already know it's vegetarian I happen to be vegetarian and I want to paste the URL so I've got the recipe up here now this URL is huge which will bother me but I'll show what you can do with that so to paste the URL it's a big long thing because I went through a search engine on the site to find it well I don't want everybody seeing that so I'm gonna put from all recipe, I already put it in before I tried it. Allrecipes.ca, and I'm going to save and view. You can add more than one recipe if you like. I'm sure people will appreciate them. So there's my title, there's my description, there's my picture, the kind of dish, and here is a link directly to the recipe, which has 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 Stephanie's quote there. So it's not so much plagiarism Stephanie still gets the credit once this page changes okay so I would if you get a chance to do that one today that would be great um, and as they start piling up here you can look at everybody's recipes what they're sharing so I'm gonna go back to Moodle 2.5 using my breadcrumb trail I you know what I'm so used to using a breadcrumb trail I rarely use navigation anymore um, but navigations I should look at that because everything on the side it's probably pretty good so 
just to recap, we're on day one. On day one, you want to look at the video uh, introduction. You want to look at the two books. Um, maybe take a make this choice. Uh, you can look at these two pages. About uh, it's just informational. There's nothing really to do there. Um, the survey. Try the quiz. If you don't do very well at the quiz, don't worry about it. I've taken it directly. I made notes when I watched these two videos, and that's what I uh, made up the quiz on. But I think the questions are a little too hard when I reflect on it. No time to change it now. And give us some feedback on today. Um, if you can make some glossary entries from to, uh, that's in tomorrow's section, that would be great. And the day three section, if you could go in there and start with the workshop activity, uh, that would be great too. But I know time is valuable. Just do what you can. Uh, there's no hurry to get it in the schedule I'm giving you. By the way, I've had lots of course requests already um, that I'm putting those through. If you've got a course request that you want on the 2.5 server on this, this Moodle server, um, just let me know. And if you, I'm up over 10 minutes. And if you um, want one on my server, which is the 2.6 server, it's my sandbox server. My regular server is still 2.5 as well. Um, I can accommodate that. Okay, that's all for today. Got any questions, let me know. I'm looking forward to seeing your, you in the discussion forums. Bye-bye.